एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दी स्टॉप एंड वेट ए आर क्यू प्रोटोकॉल ऑफ द डेटा लिंक क्लियर दिस प्रोटोकॉल इज आल्सो नोन एज स्टॉप एंड वेट ऑटोमेटिक रिपीट रिक्वेस्ट ए आर क्यू स्टैंड फॉर ऑटोमेटिक रिपीट रिक्वेस्ट सो यू कैन कॉल इट स्टॉप एंड वेट ए आर क्यू यू कैन कॉल इट स्टॉप एंड वेट ऑटोमेटिक रिपीट रिक्वेस्ट or you can also call it simplex stop and wait protocol for noisy channel most commonly it is known as the stop and wait arq this protocol adds error control facilities to the stop and wait protocol now in our previous video we have studied the simplex stop and wait protocol or the stop and wait protocol so this particular protocol which is the stop and wait arq adds error control facilities to the stop and wait protocol it takes into account the fact that receiver has a finite processing speed and the frames may get corrupted while transmission so if data frames arrive at the receiver's end at a rate which is greater than the rate of processing that means the uh, which is greater than the rate at which the receiver can process the frames frames can be dropped out because the frames would keep coming but the receiver would not be in a uh, position to process them as fast as they are coming so in those in that case the frames may be dropped out so also frames may get corrupted or entirely lost when they are transmitted via the network channel because we are assuming that the channel may be erroneous or the transmission channel may have errors so the frames may even get corrupted or damaged during the data transmission phase so the receiver sends an acknowledgement for each valid frame it receives that means as long as the frame is not damaged then in that case if a proper frame has arrived at the receiver's end then the receiver would send an acknowledgement for that particular frame to the sender now the sender sends the next frame only when it has received a positive acknowledgement from the receiver that it is available for further data processing positive acknowledgement means an acknowledgement telling the sender that the frame has been received and it is in proper condition so in such a case the sender can send further data frames otherwise what happens is that otherwise the sender keeps waiting for a certain amount of time and then resends the frame see the sender cannot keep on waiting endlessly for the acknowledgement from the receiver there has to be a certain time interval for which the sender would wait and after that time interval passes out the sender needs to take a necessary action so if that particular time interval times out then of course the sender will resend the frame assuming that the frame which was previously sent could not be received right so clearly you need a way for the receiver to be able to distinguish between an original and duplicate frame why because the acknowledgement frame may get lost completely it may have happened that the receiver must have received the frame successfully and it must have transmitted the sent the acknowledgement frame back but just like the normal data frame can get lost during transmission so can the acknowledgement frame also be lost because the transmission uh, channel or the communication channel does not discriminate between those two frames right so if a data frame can be lost the acknowledgement frame can also be lost so in this possibility what happened the receiver successfully received the data frame but when it sent the acknowledgement then the acknowledgement got lost during the data transmission and it did not reach the sender and then the sender assumed that since i have not received the acknowledgement that means the data frame has not been received by the receiver so i need to retransmit the data frame right this is one another scenario so clearly if the sender sends the same data frame again that means that is the duplicate data frame 
now the receiver has already received this uh, frame successfully and when the sender upon not receiving the acknowledgement uh, during that uh, particular time interval resends the same frame so in that case a way is needed for the receiver to be able to distinguish between the original and the duplicate frame because the receiver if it has successfully received one frame it will it cannot keep on accepting the duplicate frame right so in such a case the sender as i said on not having received the acknowledgement assumed that the data frame was lost or damaged and then it resend the frame so the duplicate frame also arrives at the receiver sites the receiver already has the original frame and now a duplicate frame has also been received so to be able to distinguish between the original and the duplicate frame one method is to have the sender put a sequence number in the header of each frame that it sends so each frame has a unique sequence number right so when the receiver checks the sequence number of each arriving frame right so if the sequence number of each arriving frame is different or it's new then the sender knows it's a new frame but if the sequence number is repeated like for example it received a frame with sequence number 4 then it again received a frame with sequence number 4 so now the receiver clearly knows that this is a duplicate frame because i have already received a frame with sequence number 4 so this is one good method of help having the sender distinguish between the original and the duplicate frames so that it can discard the duplicate frames right and like the simplex stop and wait protocol here in the stop and wait arq protocol also the data is transmitted in one direction only so this is the stop and wait arq protocol